Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? HTG Doug here, and we're checking out some more Destiny and some more Relic Iron. And as promised, I have the second method for you. This is a much shorter route than the ones that I normally like. I usually like the really longer routes that have a lot more chances of different spots for stuff to spawn, chests and stuff like that. But this is a much shorter one that Avenge was kind enough to show me. And uh, I think if you average it out between the longer one and the shorter one, it averages out to just about the same. But uh, for whatever reason, I just like the longer routes a little better. I feel like there's always more chance of stuff to spawn. So, But uh, things do respawn a lot faster in this shorter route. So I guess, like I said, it evens out to about the same. But it's just a matter of preference, and I figured I would show you guys both methods. And I'll give you the pros and cons of this one, just like I did the last one for uh, the longer route. So, all right. So, um, so one of the cons is that uh, there's a lot more uh, other players that spawn in this area, is because, um, well, you know, it's the spawning point. It's basically you like go two feet, and you're literally already in the route. So there is a lot more uh, chance of players taking your stuff or getting in your way or whatever. Luckily, we really didn't have that problem when we were recording this. But uh, a couple other times when we we tried this as like a dry run. It, um, it it definitely there was a lot of other people around. Whereas the one the longer route, there's not as many people there. Uh, there's a greater chance of different um, types of uh, public events or option uh, public events. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking. I don't know why I was thinking optional events. Um, in the other route, there's only two that can really spawn, and uh, they're a lot more difficult if there's no one else around. Like the eliminate the target one is very difficult to do by yourself. It's doable, but Depending on what level you are, it can be very frustrating to do. This one, there's a lot other chance people helping you out and stuff like that. So, uh, while it does have its cons, it does have its pros as well. So, otherwise, um, it's about the same. Uh, some of the chests, I believe, are a little more hidden in this um, in this area than the other one. But as long as you know where to look, and I'll point them out as we go through like the uh, ten or so runs uh, through this. So, um, yeah, you've seen a couple of the chest locations already. And uh, I'll point them out as we go along. But there's sometimes a uh, relic iron on top of the rock there. I call it Pride Rock because it looks like from the Lion King. So uh, there's a couple. There's a chance that there's going to be one or a relic iron or a chest over there. But there is one there later on that we'll, I'll point out when we get there. But uh, mostly the caves, you know, if you've ever entered a cave at all in this game, you pretty much know it's either on the left or the right. Uh, not really much to say there. But... Um, so yeah, let's point them out as we go, and uh, basically it's up to you guys to decide which one you like the best. I just like the longer routes better for whatever reason, but a lot of people like the shorter routes, so it's really just up to you. And uh, I thought I would give you both methods just so you guys can uh, can see which one you prefer or like the best. All right, so there's obviously that's the first cave. Uh, there's some there's usually one there every two to three runs, and then we usually go back here, and uh, there's usually a relic iron somewhere over here. It's, if it's not there where it is now, it's usually further to the left. And uh, there's quite frequently a chest in here as well. Not this time, though. But uh, there is one that rarely spawns back here that Avenge found because I totally missed. And uh, luckily, it's like a legendary chest. It gives me some resupply codes, which are just for Glimmer. So uh, but anyway, there's usually a chest somewhere in that area. And then uh, you basically want to go down through the rocks and you'll see a, ch uh, a cave right here. There's sometimes Relic Iron, which I think I actually just missed. Now that I'm watching this, I think I saw one there, but I, I probably not. But uh, there's usually there. I've never really seen a chest in there, but we always check just to be sure because I've never seen a, ch a cave not have a chest ever. So um, at some point there has to be one there if you stay there long enough. So uh, I have never seen one in there, and you won't see one in this video. But there's usually a relic iron somewhere around there. So um, on top of that circle building, I call it the little circle donut building. Uh, it's usually either a chest either behind it as I showed, or there's one like on top uh, of the little platform that's up there. There's also could be a chest back there, as you saw in the last run, or in the, to the left of that in a little window area on the fence. There's usually a chest somewhere in there, uh, in the, either the back two corners. And uh, so that's mostly the ones over here. Uh, keep, just basically check all the corners, and I'll, I'll keep pointing them out as we go. But check all the corners in that in that little hallway two-room area, as uh, they kind of stick them behind um, like the corners sometimes. So, all right, nothing in there here this time. Uh, there's sometimes a chest back here, and I was trying so hard to get one to pop up for you, uh, back by, like, the cracks, and it did not go. We were here for, like, 34 minutes. I tried so hard to get one to pop up there, and it did not for me. But, uh, keep checking back there just in case. You'll see me check there a couple different times, um, actually every single time. And, uh, just keep looking there, because sometimes a chest is, like, tucked away deep down in there. Kind of hard to see sometimes. You gotta really look, but it's, I promise you there is some, that one that spawns there sometimes. 
And uh, these two rocks that I passed up on the left, like I went over the little sand dune and then there was another one. There's sometimes a chest tucked in between there or a relic iron. Unfortunately, did not get one to spawn this time. I'll point them out again as we go by the next time. But uh, yeah, I, I couldn't, I didn't get a lot of the chests that I wanted to spawn for you guys to spawn for whatever reason. Uh, I guess I just, ha I have that bad luck uh, when I do these videos for you guys. Um, but I do get another epic chest in this run as well. I left it in purposely just to show you guys that it is fairly possible and fairly frequently as I got a crazy like 1080 spin there going on. Uh, but yeah, uh, Avenged has some like crazy good luck with epic chests on this map. And I mean like every five minutes he was like, oh, I got another one. Oh, I got another one. I was like, yeah, I haven't got one. So shut up. <laughs> But he, uh, so hopefully you guys have the same kind of luck he does, because every every five seconds he's getting like rare engrams from a chest, and it's absolutely insane. Because I never have that luck, but I managed to get one for you guys in this one, so uh, I, I felt pretty confident or pretty good about it. So, all right, there's sometimes a chest hidden in that corner back there that I just looked, and uh, as you can see, there's sometimes one on top of this over here as well. Uh, there's usually one either straight ahead or or right above here as well. So you gotta make sure you check uh, both of those locations. And there's sometimes one to the left in the corner I just looked at, or right there in that little window, or behind the rock as you saw earlier in the video. And uh, so yeah, just uh, most of the general locations you probably know by now if you've ever farmed for anything anywhere. But uh, some of them are a little tricky. And uh, I hate this map for, for farming, or this planet for farming, because it kind of blends in with the ground. Whereas like the Spirit Bloom on Venus are so easy to see most of the time. Uh, I found that the relic iron is just really hard to find or see sometimes, so I don't like it. But so yeah, I was trying so hard to get a chest to pop up in one of those locations for you right there, but could not get one the entire time. So, all right, so I have nothing in the cave, and uh, I like this one. The one good thing about this one is you can use your sparrow a lot more. As I've, that's the first time I've ever seen a chest there. Luckily, Avenge was with me, or I would have totally missed it because I've never ever looked there. And uh, that's the first time I've ever seen a chest there in like the couple hours I farmed this location. So, but uh, anyway, this I like this route. I like this route because as to the left, right there on that rock is where the relic iron could spawn, or right there in front of me as you go over the dune. Uh, so keep an eye out for that locations as well. But uh, this route can be done mostly on your sparrow. I mean, you can do the whole route on your sparrow if you really time it right and everything. Uh, but I usually get off when you go to the hallway area with the two rooms. So. But uh, mostly you can do almost all of it with the Sparrow, which makes it a lot faster. And uh, since everything respawns so quickly, it doesn't really matter if you uh, I mean, if you go around too quickly. Because as you can see, they're like, going around two or three times and they're respawning everything. And uh, usually it balances out where the ones that didn't have it last time have a chest this time and so on and so forth. So, uh, Oh, there's a Relic Iron up there. I thought I saw I thought I was like, I think I see something up there. And there it is. All right. Uh, I don't actually know how many you get. I always f try to count, and then, like, halfway through, I lose count. I get distracted by something, and I just, you know, not paying attention, and I just forget. So, uh, next time we go around, I'll, I'll give a count, and hopefully I'll actually uh, make it all the way through the end without stopping counting. I don't really know how to say that. But, uh, anyway. So, yeah, to the left right there on the little platform, I got you a quick look at it. There was a chest up there when we started, but I kind of messed up the route. I went the total wrong way a couple times so i cut it out but uh there is sometimes one up there as well and there is the chest in the corner the little i call it the little hidey chest because it's like kind of in a dark corner you can't really see it i don't know i come up with funny names for chests so uh anyway all right so yeah like i said you can do this whole area on a sparrow if you really wanted to i just prefer to run it for whatever reason uh i think i just because i i have i look a lot closer and a lot more what's the word i'm looking for oh there's one on pride rock go get it yeah, that's where we're going up to see Mufasa and Simba. Oh, no, well, yeah, sort of. All right, so uh, anyway, yeah, I just like to, I think I, I look around a lot better and pay attention to more chests and relic iron and stuff when I'm not on the Sparrow. But uh, if you're not like me, you can easily do this entire route on the Sparrow and not, and do it in like, I'm sure if you do the whole route quickly, you can do like a two to three minutes tops. So uh, definitely very, 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 very quick. And uh, you can see I left a ton of route uh, of the um, runs in just to show you guys how quick it actually is. Uh, normally, I do these videos in like 14 minutes. And uh, we do a, I maybe do like three to five runs. Uh, this one I left in like 10 because it's just so quickly. You can do it so quickly and it just... you. And I mean, I think uh, I didn't count how many I actually got from, the, um, from this run. But Avenge got 78, I believe he said. and uh, Or somewhere in the 70s. But like I said, he gets a ton of epic chests, so uh, that number is a little higher than what it probably would be if 
a normal person like me or you did it because I can never get those things. So, um, yeah, I would guess somewhere in about 50, 50 range in about mm, 15 minutes, maybe. Well, we did it for about 30 minutes uh, and he got about 78. So I would say about 50 per 30 minutes or probably closer to 60. So, uh, that's not bad. It's about the same average, I would say. Cause it, I mean, on the longer route, you get about 15 per 30 minutes. Or not 15 per 30. 15, like 12 to 15 per route. So, you get 5 minutes per route. Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess it's about right. Maybe a little higher. Maybe a little less, depending on how good your luck is. And, uh, oh, be careful about this one right here. It's kind of hard to see. It kind of blends in with the actual building. So, uh, keep an eye out for that. And that's the platform right there to the left with that crazy circle antenna thing on top but uh, I think it averages out about just about the same this might be a little faster and there's usually a chest I didn't point out um, there's usually a chest sometimes or sometimes a chest inside that donut building on the bottom floor that's why I run around in a circle there so uh, keep an eye out for that I think I saw one the entire time like half hour we did it and I don't think I even put it in the video so but uh, keep an eye out for that for sure so uh, yeah I think the average is about the same maybe a little less maybe a little more uh, it really just depends on what you prefer. So uh, I figured I would show you guys both methods just so you guys could see which one you like the best. I mean, I figure I might as well give you guys the options and not force or tell you or force you to do one or the other or whatever. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys appreciate it because I tried. This was like the heart. This is like one of the hardest uh, planets to find a good relic or a material farming spot for. So and I think this is the epic chest I get. Yeah, it was. I got two rare engrams, special ammo synthesis, and nine relic iron. So that's pretty good. I didn't even count, did I? I forgot to count. <laughs> See, I can never even do it. I can never get an accurate count of how many I get per ling. But uh, I do have a half-decent spin metal route coming soon. I mean, I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to get all the, the locations uh, down. And I'm trying to get the route down to what I like. So but hopefully that will be up soon because I'm having some trouble getting a good route. So, uh... Hopefully, I'll find a, at least a half-decent one for you guys. So you guys can get your uh, spin metal on. But All right. Well, that's going to do it. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this uh, shorter relic iron farming route with its pros and cons. And, uh, so yeah, if you're looking for Spear Bloom, we do have a Spear Bloom video up uh, and, our, and a helium filament one and a longer relic iron route as well if you want to look at that, as I've mentioned before. Uh, link to the playlist is in the description below, so you can check all those out. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys appreciate these because it took me a very long time to get a half-decent Relic Iron route. Uh, but uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, make sure you follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, like and subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, Google+, Instagram, Twitch, and our website as well. And uh, I will see you guys very, very soon.